Help me film this. Ooh, you did pee or something. <laughs> you like my eyebrows? <gasps> oh, he really <laughs> doesn't like my eyebrows. <laughs> Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for the support on my very first video two weeks ago. Um, I did film this video last week, but I had this scab on my face and it was really disgusting, so I decided to refilm it. Today I am going to lay out my face routine in depth and go really into what I do with my face routine every day. And then since this video I think would be extremely boring without some glam. It's just a little bit of easy uh, eyeshadow with a winged eyeliner and a fun sparkly glossy lip. Uh, I'm going to film this video mostly for the purpose of getting my face routine out there so that we can move on to fun stuff on my channel and I don't have to film my face routine every single time. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you would like to see how I created all of this, just keep watching. But um, uh, Let's get this video started. So, before I do any makeup, I always am going to wash my face. I'm one of those people that's really just lazy when it comes to skincare. I don't have the energy to get out of bed at night and go put stuff on my face, wash it off, like get water everywhere. I always use these wipes. It's the Yes to Tomatoes brand. I also use one of their skin cleansers just to wash my face in the shower. Also, once you wash your face, it tends to get a little dry. So before I start, I will always moisturize. And my favorite moisturizer is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. It smells good. It tastes good. Um, I just really like it. So I've already put both of these on my face so we can get straight to makeup. After I clean my face, I'm going to start with my elf blemish control primer it's like three dollars like this stuff's pretty cool i mean there's not really much to it with primer i'm just gonna take a little bit and then put it on and whenever i do my primer foundation concealer i will always get it on my eyelids because i'm too lazy to use eyelid primer and so i'm just gonna use my face primer as an everything primer okay so I've already color corrected, everything's good to go. I'm gonna grab my Urban Decay All Nighter uh, foundation. I'm shade 2.5. I find that you really, really don't have to use a ton of this, but I'm just gonna put some on my finger and then I'm just gonna dot that all over my face real quick. And then I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and I'm gonna take the flat side. I'm just gonna take this and start to blend this all over. The you step, don't, the cord, Isaac, the cord. Yes, I, 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 Isaac, stop, please. <laughs> that took forever to set up. Oh my God. All right, so next in my routine is gonna be concealer. I'm going to grab my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I think I am shade, oh crap, it doesn't say on here. In shade white, good enough. So obviously I'm just gonna put that in the places where I need to highlight, which is gonna be under the eyes, down the chin, not chin, that's the wrong body part, down the nose, up my forehead. We're gonna get a little on the chin there. Well, on the cupid's bow. And then of course you can put it over any imperfections that you'd like to smooth out. I'm just gonna use the pointed end of my damp beauty blender and we're gonna blend this out. So on to our next step, we are going to bake. All right, first things first, I'm gonna grab this e.l.f. Uh, Perfect Finish HD powder. This one is a little bit empty. So I think for the purpose of this video, uh, I have like, two or three on stash, so I'm gonna grab a new one. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and wherever I blended the concealer out, I'm going to take my beauty blender, give it a little swipey into this HD powder, and then I'm just gonna press that into the important parts of where I really wanna minimize my pores. Do I look like a ghost? <laughs> yeah. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> um, with baking, the trick is that you have to leave it for five or six minutes. And when I started baking, I would get bored. Cause I mean, there's nothing you can really do while you're waiting for your bake to be done. You just sit there bored. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this NYX Micro Brow Pencil um, in color chocolate. And while my bake is setting, I'm just going to brush my eyebrow hairs back. And then I'm going to take the pencil side. And then I'm going to live... Uh, live... <clears throat> I'm going to leave a good like couple centimeters at the beginning of my brow just empty. I'm going to leave those alone because we're going to fade that and so I don't really want to get any of this in that. And so I'm just going to kind of start after the little tuft of hair at the beginning and I'm just going to line out the basic line for my eyebrows so that I can just fill in the lines later. So, by this time, I would assume that my baking is done, so I'm just going to grab this Real Techniques um, fluffy blending brush. Just start to brush off all that excess powder and all over the rest of my face. Alright, good. We're looking a little bit more skin color now. I'm going to grab my Hoola Benefit bronzer. It's just a really nice, warm-toned, light, easy-to-use bronzer. I'm just going to take this little unicorn blending brush. It's colorful and it's a unicorn. I'm just going to begin blending that into my um, cheekbones. After you're satisfied with your cheekbones, just take a tiny bit more and then I'm going to blend that from the cheekbones up into my temple. Uh, making really sure to blend it around the edge of my face and then I'm gonna take the same stuff and put it on either side of my nose and then after all of that is on of course we're going to contour this forehead um, I usually like to do an M shape coming down in the middle before we move on I'm just gonna take that flat edge of my beauty blender and I'm just gonna just a tiny bit blend out the nose before I move on to eyebrows, I'm going to set this face. Uh, just to blend all of this out, I'm going to grab my NYX No Filter Setting Spray in shade Porcelain. And then I'm going to grab this Royal and Lang Nickel powder brush. Uh, it's just a powder blending brush, nice and fluffy. Got it at Walmart, five bucks, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to swirl that around, get lots on there, just good and good and yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to aggressively blend out my face. Uh. I'm not super into blush. I only own one blush <laughs> and it works for me, so I'll use it. Um, so I'm going to grab the L'Oreal True Match Blush in shade Sweet Ginger. Oh, that's a cute name. So I'm just going to take literally just a tiny bit of that and then I'm going to blend it under my cheek the apples of my cheeks and along not along but around my contour line I'll show you I'm gonna sh smile like an idiot and then you don't want to put it on the apple of your cheek but right under it so like right there see that's the apple on my cheek and I'm gonna put it right here okay I'm almost done with this face um Finally, very final step of my face foundation routine, I'm going to grab this NYX HD Finishing Powder. It's just a translucent powder. I'm going to take the same brush that I used with my other NYX setting powder and I'm literally just going to take a tiny bit of this and, okay, maybe a little bit more than a tiny bit. Um, and then I'm just going to put one dollop of this all over my face. If I was doing a full glam, I'd probably go with a darker eyebrow color, but for today, I think I'm going to use my lighter eyebrow color. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, and then I'm just going to start to fill in those lines and then define those lines with this color because this color is a different one than the one I put on my face. And then after I get those filled in, I'll show you how I do the front of my eyebrow. That sucks. It did suck. The little front of my eyebrow is so far naked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same thing and then I'm going to start by drawing a line right under where um, I'm just going to draw the line connecting the rest of my eyebrow and make sure that it connects to the line that, of, that my eyebrow is on. And then I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to brush a tiny bit of pigment up through the bottom of the baby hairs and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush side and I'm just gonna brush that out 
I'm gonna go around this and clean up the edges a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a little Real Techniques angled brush. You can use any angled brush of your choosing. And then I'm gonna grab my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in shade Fair because I really like to be light under the eyebrows. And then I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna take a little bit of this, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And then I'm just gonna use that to go around the edges of my eyebrows and clean that up. So at this point, um, if I was just going out for a day, I might pop on some lashes and go. But um, I feel like this video would be extremely unentertaining if I did so. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a little bit of fun right now. Let's go. Hi, I'm Emily. I would like to wing some eyeliner today. I think that that's what we will do. Um, so I'm going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Sorry, it's still in the Unicarton. I keep every single Unicarton I've ever gotten. It's a disaster. It just looks like a mound of trash. I should probably throw it away. I'm gonna take this round blending brush, which is also a Real Techniques brush. Okay, so I'm gonna take the color Golden Ochre. I'm pretty sure that I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then I'm just gonna put that right into my crease. Today, I'm not gonna bring the pigment too far forward into my inner corner. I just kinda wanna leave it up here. And then I am going to drag it out a little bit so that it meets up with our winged eyeliner when we get that on. Oh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab the color called Burnt Orange, which is a burnt orange, um, and I'm going to take just the same blending brush, and I'm also gonna tuck that into my crease just a little bit. Finally, before I move on, I'm going to grab a smaller blending brush. It's just a little bit thinner, and I'm gonna dip that into Venetian Red. I'm just going to really delicately draw that line through my um, crease and out to where I'm going to meet my eyeliner. I'm gonna take that light shade again and then just put it right under this line that we just did with, I'm gonna use a flat synthetic brush, a nice wide flat synthetic brush. And I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna put that under where we have our eye shadow right now. And I'm just gonna put that around in our lid so that the shadow that's in our crease doesn't come down too far. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab that color Love Letter. I'm going to take that and coat my bottom lid in this gorgeous pigment. Just grab that first blending brush that we use, nice and big and fluffy, and I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of golden ochre, just really, really, really tiny bit, and I'm gonna smoke that bottom color out. But let's move on to eyeliner. So today I'm going to do some winged eyeliner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. For me, I'm going to start with my wing and then we'll work our way in. Okay, so. After eyeliner, next step is going to be our mascara. So I'm gonna grab my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. As far as mascara goes, I think that the outer eyelashes, the ones at the very end, are the most important. I do like to give my eyelashes a hot moment to dry. So before we get on our lashes, we are going to highlight. I'm going to be using two products today. I think. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. So I think I'm gonna take Forever Young, you know what, I think I might take a little bit of Kitty Cat as well. Just on the brush, you don't need too much, this stuff is really strong. And then I'm just gonna dust that on the upper cheekbones. Oh! Oh yeah! Woo! Ooh, okay, maybe that was a little bit too much. <laughs> and then next, for all of my drugstore friends out there, uh, the front is a little bit rubbed off, as you can see, but it's a Makeup Revolution um, product called the Vivid Baked Highlighters. I'm just gonna take this a little bit with the same brush, and I'm gonna put that on the 
apples of my cheeks a little bit, just a tiny bit. I don't think I want to go too glowy today, but we're just gonna, mmm, yes, mm, just a little bit. Uh oh, that was too much. And then, of course, on the Cupid's bow, I'm gonna go pop these on real quick and I'll be right back. So, before I hop onto my liquid lipstick, I'm going to grab this, um, I think it's just a NYX lip, lip liner. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. It's a little bit short. Um, this is just in the color Alluring. It's really nice and creamy. I use this with everything. So I'm just gonna use this and pop some lips on. Okay, so now that I have my um, lip liner on, this is the Kylie Mini Matte Lipstick uh, Valentine's Day set. From this little grouping of mini lipsticks, I'm going to grab the shade High Maintenance. Then I'm going to put that on over this stuff. Alright, even though this is so beautiful and I kind of just want to stop here, these lips are gonna be wet. Okay, so to get that molten gold wet look that I want, I'm going to grab my Coco Collection by Kylie. All right, I'm gonna grab the gloss, which is called Damn Gina. Damn <laughs> Gina! But you really don't need that much and it will look fabulous. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna dot a little bit on the bottom, on the inside. Okay, so I am done with this look. I am very pleased with this look. So last but definitely not least is some setting spray. I'm going to grab my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Set and Spray. Let's drench our face and get nice and moist. That was probably too much, whatever. All right, I am done with this look. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Now that I have my face routine all filmed and posted, I will now be able to get onto all the fun stuff. I've got a lot of new toys lately, so I'm really, really, really excited for the stuff that I'm gonna be doing on my channel soon. Please leave me a comment below on what you guys want to see next and what you wanna see in future videos. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today, and I will glam with you later. Just sprinkle salt bay. Okay.